Vitamins are vital to our health. Yes, diabetics need thiamine or vitamin B1 more than any other vitamin. Thiamine is vital. Benfotiamine, a cheap and accessible version of thiamine, can actually assist diabetics avoid high blood sugar side effects. You don't need to take big doses though. Just keep to the suggested amount, which I'll tell you later. And you will be astonished how healthy your metabolism will be and how you will avoid neuropathy and kidney disease. Have you downloaded the SugarMD app yet? If not, you are missing out on some great resources for managing your diabetes. Our team of experts offer free coaching via app texting so you can get answers to all of your diet and diabetes related questions. Plus, using the app daily will help you stay on track and help make healthy choices. So, download the app today. Start living your best life. Remember to subscribe to our newsletter for weekly educational emails as well. Thiamine and benfothiamine should be part of a regular vitamins regimen for any diabetic. So, what is it? Well, B1 is thiamine, right? So, it is water-soluble vitamin. So energy metabolism requires it. The yeast, cereal, grain, seed, brown rice, whole grain, all that stuff has it, but they have a lot of carbohydrates in them, right? So what about thiamine versus benfotiamine? Well, benfotiamine is identical to the vitamin B1, which is thiamine, but the body absorbs it better. Thiamine is produced from benfotiamine, right? But benfotiamine increases thiamine levels because it is better absorbed than the thiamine. Thiamine's smarter brother is actually, yeah, you can call it a smarter brother, benfotiamine or B1. Benfotiamine and thiamine work together, uh, despite that, you know, they seem to be different, but they actually turn to each other. So basically, benfotiamine, you can call it like a snake oil salesman, like thiamine, that can trick your body into absorbing more of the vitamin B1. So by cleverly changing from benfotiamine to thiamine, it gets it done. So you get the benefits of elevated thiamine levels without the unwanted side effects of overdosing with the thiamine. So you can call the benfotiamine is the ultimate showman for B1. So why do diabetics really need multivitamin complex with thiamine or benfotiamine more importantly, right? Well, <clears throat> diabetics can develop thiamine deficiency because they excrete a lot of thiamine in their urine, which controls the glucose and energy metabolism. So benfotiamine, which is typically a supplement, lowers blood sugar levels somewhat to some degree, but actually it prevents diabetes complications. So due to this high bioavailability, benfotiamine helps diabetics control their symptoms by increasing their thiamine levels. So, food powers the complicated human body. We know that, right? So, and food stores the chemical energy. Our bodies break down food and, you know, uh, the glucose. So, mitochondria converts glucose into ATP and so forth. So, ATP is like an energy currency, right? So, this powers hundreds of metabolic and biological reactions. So, diabetes unfortunately impacts the glucose processing. Diabetics cannot use excess blood glucose that is running in their system. It's overloaded, but they cannot use it. And mitochondria gets overloaded. The glucose enters the cells. The cells need the energy. Mitochondria cannot convert the glucose into energy. And the glucose excess, that backlog, uh, goes into other routes, and it causes vascular and endothelial damage. It affects the arteries and endothelium, basically. So diabetics suffer serious damage from high blood sugar because of that. So all the blindness, the kidney disease, and neuropathy, and all that is from that pathways that glucose not being used. So as we said, the more absorbable version of thiamine, as a benefit thiamine, is only comes in a supplement form. It is also found in B-complex vitamins, um, but basically benfotiamine replaces your vitamin B1 because the B1, like we said, is not readily absorbed. Uh, 
you can consider benfotiamine as an alternative medicine as well because it treats the diabetic neuropathy uh, which causes you know extremity discomfort numbness pain and so forth so they found that the benfotiamine actually protects the nerves especially from glucose uh, damage with transketolase enzyme inhibition which you may have heard from me before it also even helped with the chronic tiredness it boosts the energy levels without giving you jitters so it is also an antioxidant right uh, there's a lot of oxidant damage due to diabetes which with the benfotiamine you can boost your antioxidant levels so what about the foods well that fat soluble benfotiamine is of course a supplement but the thiamine itself is found in typically carbohydrate heavy foods so and i think god intentionally inserted this vitamin in some of these carbs to offset the high blood sugar that may happen from eating those carbs because like we said thiamine actually protects you from the side effects of the sugars of course you know whole wheat bread will have it molasses and all that but the egg yolk and butter for example or liver or high fat milk uh, or yogurt can be another way or even turkey meat uh, can be another way to get it from the food so what about insulin resistance so do people with insulin resistance have thiamine deficiency well uh, definitely especially if you're eating a lot of store bought you know stuff even if they're fortified with thiamine uh, you will be uh, thiamine deficient because of insulin resistance so you have to make sure that if you're taking a supplement for benfotiamine it has to come from a reliable supplier preferably in a multivitamin complex with combined with alpha lipoic acid and additional b complex vitamins and for that sugar md neuropathy support fits the bill yes thiamine is generated in the body in tiny amounts however supplementation is especially necessary for diabetics so let's talk about why are some cells affected more from glucose but not the others so unfortunately certain cells cannot control sugar intake uh, these cells must accept sugar because the pancreas is uh, overburdened and they cannot block the entry of glucose and these are typically kidney your eyes your nerve cells in particularly they are very vulnerable to the effects of the high blood sugar that is accumulating in your cells and nerves are the most vulnerable so most people get neuropathy first but if you are proactive and taking benfotiamine supplements early on you may prevent all of that from happening uh, from the get-go most people start looking for a, a solution after they get the problem but i always tell my patients hey if you're waiting for a hurricane put your shutters on first so don't wait for the hurricane to hit you and then decide to put your shutters on it's just not the best way to approach it so preventative approach is always your best bet so as we said b1 plays a crucial role in sustaining your general health and well-being when it comes to glucose metabolism uh, thiamine has been found to even improve your sugar processing your sugar levels and diabetes related cell damage in every cell but especially the ones that are prone to glucose overload so it does that by improving or enhancing the function of particular enzyme which is transketolase so thiamine may help diabetics control their sugar by improving that erythrocyte transketolase deficiency problem so thiamine normally maintains the erythrocyte transketolase enzyme this thiamine works as a cofactor so it gets absorbed uh, quickly you know when you take the benfotiamine and alcohol for example is the biggest inhibitor of thiamine in that regard so if you want to really keep your thiamine and prevent the severe deficiency especially with diabetes you have to avoid alcohol uh, and if you do so you have to take extra benfotiamine to overcome that problem a lot of times what I see is most diabetics have no idea they overlook this vitamin the benfotiamine is a very special vitamin like we said it is uh, the most fundamental thing to maintain the transcatalase and glucose phosphate metabolize so transcatalase and glucose 6 phosphate metabolize glucose into harmful poisons so benfotiamine may really assist in reducing the sugar metabolism diabetics can really utilize benfotiamine uh, in the powder form or in the capsule form as a supplement especially the insulin takers must consider benfotiamine very strongly
What else it does? It reduces inflammation and ages. Remember, advanced glycation end products. They are damaging effects due to high blood sugars. This super supplement reduces uh, fat oxidation, and that is the last thing, right? Especially with high cholesterol, if you have it, you don't want oxidized LDL in your system. And ages, which is the advanced glycation end products, makes you older faster because of that poisonous substances accumulating in your body. So in that regard, I would say benfetiamine as a fat soluble version of thiamine is the best vitamin that can help you with uh, the neuropathy especially and also to prevent kidney and eye disease as well. Fat soluble vitamins like benfetiamine can be kept in our fat cells because they're fat soluble uh, longer than water soluble vitamins like thiamine. Uh, so again, that makes the benfetiamine a superior product than thiamine. So this amazing vitamin has other several benefits such as preventing stroke, cholesterol problems, peripheral vascular disease, periodontal disease, hearing loss, and all that stuff. So it is just a super vitamin. Uh, as you know, cardiovascular problems are super common and benfetiamine actually has been studied for that purpose and it has been shown to reduce the oxidative stress, the heart inflammation, the plaque buildup, and atherosclerosis. And there was no side effects whatsoever. So who knew that thiamine actually can even help prevent the periodontal disease? It, benfetiamine, like we said, is a stronger than thiamine, reduces gum inflammation and buildup uh, in your gum lines. And as you know, the diabetics are very prone to have problems with the dental problems. Benfetiamine can also increase cognitive performance, of course, since it actually you know, helps the nerves. So it actually helps memory guiding cell signaling pathways. Again, clearly, if you have memory problems, which could be worsened due to diabetes, can benefit from benfetiamine as well. Skin issues, eye issues, they are all going to benefit from the benfetiamine's beneficial effects. So what are the side effects? Well, you may have a little bit of a gastrointestinal problems like nausea, heartburn, some uh, flatulence maybe, like gas, right? Uh, but, uh, you know, it is it is worth it uh, to, to try because most of the time people have almost no side effects. And occasionally one in a hundred patients will say they have some stomach problems. Your uric acid may go up a little bit if you take excessive amount of it. So don't think that too much of a good thing is still good for you because too much of a good thing can be still bad for you. So at toxic levels can cause problems in your liver. So stick with what is in sugar MD neuropathy support, so do not overdose yourself. If you're taking benfetiamine, it can interact with the verapamil if you're taking that medication or deltiazem, but as long as you monitor your blood pressure, you should be okay. If you are drinking alcohol, again, you may need more of it. Uh, and if you're pregnant and nursing, you know, maybe it's not the best time to use benfetiamine. So 300 milligram typically is a good dose for most people, uh, give or take. But like I said, you don't want to over or under dose with benfetiamine. So most of the time you will see some improvement in your neuropathy as well within two weeks or so. So don't expect miracles, especially if you have severe neuropathy, you have to control your blood sugars along with taking benfetiamine and alpha-lipoic acid together. So most of the time, the most successful patients with sugar MD neuropathy support are the ones who are controlling their blood sugar and also taking the sugar MD neuropathy support. And within a one month or less, they see super improvements in their neuropathy. Uh, of course, if the severity is so advanced, you know, you may not get the benefit you think you are going to get. Uh, so you have to manage your expectations there as well. The best thing is to use for preventive purposes, but also for mild to moderate neuropathy, it will help significantly. So thank you everyone for watching. I think this was uh, great. Again, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please make sure you share this video. Please make sure you subscribe and give a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. If you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.